children welcome to our bible lesson today my name is teacher susan from saint barnabas otiende let us pray dear god thank you so much for this beautiful day we pray that you help us to be attentive as we listen to your word and help us to understand all that you want us to learn today in jesus name we pray amen children uh, I hope you are very um, ready to learn more from God's word and also to sing. Do you love singing to God? I love singing and it is nice to worship God in singing. And there are many other ways also to worship God, like giving. Okay, now um, we are going to sing Who is God? Who is God? God is the creator and holds everyone and everything together. He is holy and does not change. So if you didn't know who God is, listen carefully to the song, okay? Who is God? God is the creator and holds everyone and everything together. He is holy and does not change. So, God is the creator. He created everything, all that you see and what you do not see. God created it all. The trees, the mountains, the rivers, the birds, the animals, you, me, he created us all. And God takes care of everything he created. Okay, he holds everything together, right? And then God is holy. That means God does not make any mistakes. God does not do anything wrong. God is perfect and he does not change. God, the way he was many, many, many years ago is the same way he is today. God does not change, okay? So our Bible story, is from the book of Matthew, chapter 17, from verse 1 up to verse 13. Pay careful attention so that you can understand, okay? So, one day, Jesus took three of his friends, the disciples, Peter, James, and John. And he went with them to a high, 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 high mountain. Jesus had something very special he wanted his friends to see. And so when they got at the very top of the mountain, something really wonderful happened. Jesus began to change. His face began to shine bright and brighter and brightest like the sun. And his clothes became white, white, very white, like a very bright light. This was amazing. Jesus was shining with God's glory. Jesus is God's son. And Peter, James, and John got to see how Jesus looked like when he lived in heaven. Because boys and girls, before Jesus came to earth, he lived in heaven with God the Father. Then he came on earth and he died for our sins on the cross. But Jesus did not remain dead because he was buried. But after three days, he rose again and he lives in heaven. One day, Jesus will come back to earth to make everything right and good. So, how many people did we say Jesus went to the mountain with? Three. Peter, James, and John. And then, suddenly, right there at the top of the mountain, there were two other men, Elijah and Moses. And they were talking with Jesus, the Son of God. Peter, was so excited when he saw what was happening and he said lord it is good for us to be here if you wish 
I can make three shelters. A shelter is like a tent. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Before Peter could finish talking, a bright shiny cloud covered all of them. And a voice spoke from the cloud saying, This is my son whom I love. Boys and girls, the voice that spoke from the cloud, the shiny cloud, was the voice of God. And God told Jesus' friends to listen to what Jesus told them and to do as he told them to do. Jesus' friends were so afraid. They fell to the ground with their faces down. And then Jesus came and he touched every one of them. And he told them, get up, don't be afraid. When they got up and opened their eyes, only Jesus was there. Moses, Elijah, and the bright shiny cloud of God were gone. Now, boys and girls, Peter, James, and John were sure that Jesus is God's son. They heard the voice of God the Father saying, This is my son whom I love. And they saw Jesus shining with God's glory. Boys and girls, you know when Jesus touched Peter, James, and John and told them not to be afraid, he was showing them kindness. That is still God's glory. So he was revealing his glory to, the three, to his three friends by caring for them and showing them love. And we can also be sure that Jesus is God's son because we read from God's true word that Jesus is God's son. And we also know that he died on the cross to save us from our sins. And he did not re remain dead because he rose again and he lives in heaven. So we celebrate because we know that Jesus is God's son. That's the end of our Bible story. Now let's, let us learn our memory verse, which is Matthew chapter 17, verse 5. Matthew chapter 17, verse 5. It says, This is my son whom I love. This is my son whom I love. Now I want to teach you a nice thing to help you remember this verse. Matthew chapter 17 verse 5 This is my son whom I love Matthew chapter 17 verse 5 This is my son whom I love Matthew chapter 17 verse 5 This is my son whom I love Thank you, boys and girls. That's the end of our Bible story today. Um, take care. I hope you are learning a lot. Like today, we have learned that Jesus is God's son and he shines with God's glory. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, if you have your offering, please, 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 uh, you can give it through the phone using pay bill. Ask mom or dad or auntie to help you uh, so that you can give and also you can come to church and give. Okay, thank you. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for teaching us today that Jesus is your son. We pray that you help us to let Jesus uh, live in our hearts and to always help us to shine for you. We pray that you be with us throughout this week. Guide us until we meet again next week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, children. We will see you next time.